Hmm? Tails, do you see this? A pulse string. Tamiled? Well, it's gotta activate something. Look, the back of the wardrobe open? There's a whole passageway back here. But we have to see where this leads. It's curious. This must mean something big. Oh. This is the library? There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? What kind of fucking circular train is this? This isn't how trains work! It... it wasn't that good. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you just tell it to do something? Ah, oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five. Didn't seem to be listening to you. I can give you a high five. Ah, oh, sweet! I'm gonna use... No, I'm not. I'm not gonna use my one drink here. Because I, I can get... I can get one treat. <clears throat> It said that before. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Can you please tell us? No way. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is ready to re 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 reveal a scoop. Sorry. <laughs> they told us about this in Miami review. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. Casual browsing, you say? It is. Shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. I can think of one reason. Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Let me print something. <clears throat> Sonic rowing a boat. Printer's surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky. Yeah, the user interface has been very clear, but it won't let us stop me. What the fuck? And here you go. Yep. This is exactly what I asked for. I'll, uh, set this back on the printer. Tails? No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Tamled, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Tamled? Uh, there's always something in the trash bin. <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. What? <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the brand Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is that's added to our inventory? Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. It's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumbled paper is added to your inventory. Hmm. A key ring must be shadows. The locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I fear the locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. First thing I gotta do this shit. Whoa, Tails, you have to check this out. It's water. These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder layer in the air. Despite the murder layer in the air. I just thought the same thing! Alright, last thing. Then we can't move on until we interrogate Shadow. Uh, yeah, I guess I was getting a bit ahead of myself. Guess you were. Better get back to the investigation. Alright, Shadow the... Asshole. <laughs> Shadow the fuck... Bitch. <laughs> Why'd you come over here? Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train. Every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why! Huh? What? Great tale. Why was I locking all the doors? Right, time to reveal my hot tip! Up everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. The door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following... Sonic was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. What? You think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. For your conjecture, you all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is a lot of sound, though, with Sonic... Trapped by Shadow? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic. Then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Tim and I could explain the car change, however. Uh, what evidence do we have to show that Sonic could have gotten to the Shadow car? Whatever the fuck. Just get my thoughts in order. Fuck this mini game. I hate it. I swear to God, I'm gonna throw up with this shit. It's not fun. Ouchie! Fuck. That was the last jump. God damn it. <laughs> Everybody agrees they hate this minigame, really? It's really just like, it's such like an interesting little game that plays, and then like, 
You have to do this shit, and it's just like, okay, I'm in the middle of a fucking murder mystery. I want to know what happens. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna throw up. Jesus fuck. How? I guess it stands to reason that the worst part of Sonic is the gameplay. <laughs> it's really. <laughs> Tell them I found a hidden passage in the war boat that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? Someone could use the passage. Snuck through the library car, walk past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Tamald. Mm, this is just my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off the dining car. Hmm. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course it's just a theory. A game theory! I don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. <laughs> Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car. Then how did Espeon Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Tamil, do you have any guesses? Uh, well, Espeon Vector didn't see Shadow because... I mean, both of these are true. I believe Espeon was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. SPO reading in the library checks out, but well, that's what he told me too! He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game I left the saloon car. Spent some time looking for SPO, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like, I believe you. You're certainly my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for SPO, huh? Uh, you must know I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Every one of us seems to have gotten one. That's true, everyone's been able to unlock the door for us. I didn't know that, Shadow's just been passing out keys? Perhaps Tamald and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Tamald, what evidence supports Shadow's claims that he was giving keys away? This fucking key ring. That feels good, now to get my thoughts on our- FUCK! <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to play this! I just, like, it's- you were in the middle of a talk! It's dang up. <laughs> Some real panic happened when I saw that screen. <laughs> <sighs> like, I, every time I see that fucking screen, I'm a throw. I swear to God. There's only one reason. There's exactly two keys in that key ring. Those are the two keys Sonic went to give SP1 Vector. No way. Well, well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Huh? Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car. Then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Uh, she's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Shadow's fangs. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate to agree, but like, yeah, you're fucking right. <laughs> Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Tails and I know exactly why Sonic was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Ah. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just that being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Tamald. Ah, uh, yeah, Tails. <laughs> what the fuck do you want, man? I have, I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Tamil. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. Ugh. Huh? What? I, whoa, I peaked my own fucking vocal cords with that one. <laughs> my lord. Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. No, it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh. How dare you? Tamil, show me evidence, you fucking bitch. Uh, huh? Shadow is trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? It's always in the trash can, motherfucker. That feels right. Just organize my thoughts. Fuck whoever designed this. I'm sorry. I like, ooh, this mini game. <laughs> This mini game gets everyone anger issues. Like, it's it's just like, it's at the worst times. You, you went rooting through the trash. Huh? What was that? I found this in the trash bin next to the printer. 
It's a it's a, a band's ticket website. Tails don't. Ah, oh, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey. It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All the members of B after their name. Yeah, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell in minutes. The question becomes, why was this paper found the train car shadow station in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming more clearer. Much, oh, much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out, but I see where he's heading. Don't. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's website ticket exists because Shadow's a giant Hot Honey fan. Uh. Ooh, Shadow, is this true? You're trying to give me concert tickets for my birthday? Uh, I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yeah, I'm just trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Huh? Shadow! I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. Can't believe this after I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow! The kids are the bread! <laughs> Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Uh, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry, that's all a detective job is, I suppose. When I arrived at the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Where for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live perform and looked it up. That's why I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't exactly on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. Hey, Colonel. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys. So that's the wrong character. I handed out keys so they can get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. My stupid ass birthday key that everyone keeps showing you. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door of these. <laughs> Clint's fatal flaw, the birthday key. Should have guessed, it's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I hate your gesture so sweet and after I accused you, do. No. How about this, let's buy the tickets later and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if, uh... Too late, it's happening, dick. I can't wait to show the light time. Uh, fine, happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's Locked Doors has finally reached the end. Yeah, look, I, there's so many fucking voices. It's so hard to keep track of. <laughs> because it's not like there's a fucking, like, one of the characters, like, pops forward, like, in Doki Doki Literature Club. It's literally just the fucking name on the left changes, and half these names are three letters. <laughs> like, it's not okay. Tails is a shad Amy Swiper. <laughs> I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip after all, leading me to believe Shadow was buying everything. The clerk probably was just reported down the train. Amy, I am curious. Who was the source for your, uh, you know, big scoop? I'd like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Huh? But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's room. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's dragging my name through the mud. I'll try as well. Time to see this through to the end. More than happy to have you both. Damn it, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale so we'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then, let's do it. Fucked up the voice again. Fuck. <laughs> it's too many people. Can't believe the secret passage was here this whole time. Did he just not know that was there? <laughs> but it was really convenient. I see our priorities are different. Come on, the conductor's car. I wonder what we'll find there. The conductor, I'm sure. Admittedly, I haven't seen the conductor in a while. Hope he's all right. The conductor got fucking shot. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. I should save, actually. It's now or never. Unironically, a super fun visual novel. Conductor car. should really sort out my evidence before I continue. My short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd, I haven't seen him at all through the train. Last time we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. <laughs> this robot arm has been completely torn off. How creepy. That arm is powerful, it'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? Confrontation definitely occurred in this room. Should log this. Aye aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. 
Did this fall over when the train sped up? I'm not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? Cup of Joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Start beatboxing? What the fuck? <laughs> Talon, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> um, just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Talon. Thank you for sharing. A vent? A vent? Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why would it be a problem for you? Mm. Eh. Ah! Oh, the, uh, the tail's right. Tamil! Ugh! Fuck! <laughs> Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same. The train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Minley, I do miss his laugh. Ha 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 ha. Before we talk to Amy, I think we should keep looking around. Oh, good call. That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Hey, Colonel, take a look at this. Huh? That shouldn't be possible. Phil's right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before landing them aboard. Let's make a note of this. Blow dart is out of your inventory. Found enough clues. No. There's a trash can. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check this trash bin. You satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. Been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He's heading to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. Maybe future sorrow will be fleeting. Uh, yeah, I wish that too. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Ha, huh, guys. I think that's everything. The vent. The sauce. All right. Well, you too think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Table? Ready to solve this case? Yeah. Hello, everyone! This is the birthday girls meeting! <laughs> Please report to the conductor car at once. God, this is so hot. What? Who said that? <laughs> Wonderful to have you all here. Ties and I are ready to announce the prime suspect with assistance from Tamold. Why didn't Sonic show up? Huh? Oh. Vector. Real quick, can you come with us to get Sonic? You must still be pretending to be Ted, lazy bum. Lazy fucking asshole! Ready? Let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight. The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself, the amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SPO. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says there's a train to escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms, count me in. So glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! Uh, uh, what? Uh, what in the world? What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? <coughs> uh huh. <laughs> he's he's not responding to us. Zodiac! Zodiac! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! This voice is not fun for me. Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. One of you shot Sonic in the dick and now he can't fuck anymore. <laughs> Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Did this really have been one of us? No one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? Uh, um, this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm gonna expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're gonna figure out exactly what happened in this room. Punish the one responsible. Sonic. He really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Tamil, I have a really big question to ask. Who's in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? I don't think anybody did it. 
I honestly, I don't think any one of us did it. I think it was fucking Eggman or some shit. Okay, so Shadow had an air airtight alibi. Espio was a little fucking dick. He was a liar. Because he wasn't reading when Shadow went through. And that was proved. Which means it was a group effort. Or it was just Espio because he had a key. It couldn't have been Rouge. It couldn't have been those two because they were together and everybody saw Rouge do her thing. Yeah, I know you know who it is. It might have been Amy because she's a bitch and she was awake before us. It wasn't Knuckles because he's dumb. Vector, maybe. It. I don't think it was Tails because he was passed out unless it was a joint effort between Amy and Tails. So I'm gonna. It's either SP or Amy. I. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck it was here. We're gonna save. <laughs> we're gonna save, and before it tells me I'm wrong. We're gonna go back, and I'm gonna go with Espio right now. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Oh. Ugh. I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish for, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What, you're accusing Espio? When you talked about this, the man was reading you of nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, think. Espio was locked in the library card reading it, only had access to the card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Yeah, but can you refill everyone in? What do we find that brings in a catch to the film? Vector being acting, been acting protective, we discovered a hidden passage. As we could have left the library at any time, because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would SPO avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaws. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true you didn't miss a question, but I think Tamil and I can explain that too, Tamil. How does SBO know everything in the train manual he was reading? A ninja like him, speed reads. He's a poet, so a quick reader. I mean, these are fucking stupid. An SBO is a ninja, he's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd, memorizing a whole book. I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it is possible. Espio was particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once bed read a book when I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage. Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was being murdered. Since we're only talking about what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right, how would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Tamil and I might not have any evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Tamil. Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about that? Who the, how the fuck would I know that? I mean, who, to prove he knew about the- I mean, fucking, if anything, it would be Vector or Shadow. I'm gonna- No, because Shadow didn't even know it existed, so I'm gonna go with Vector. Alright. They told us we can see something later, and now's the time to take a look who told us. What? What? Honestly, I have no fucking clue. Shadow? No, I'm just gonna keep clicking. It's fine. I don't think it's gonna penalize me for this. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's not gonna penalize me. It wasn't Rouge, I don't think. It might have been Rouge. It was Rouge? Alright. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came with gold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. FPO could have easily used it to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Tamil, do you have an answer? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, at the library. Stuff with the brochures. Checked the zoom car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can't kill a single participant however they choose. Logistics are still vague, but Tamil and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Tamil and I have evidence on how it was done. Huh? Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Not for my argument. Don't you fucking dare make me play this goddamn minigame again. You piece of shit game. It's fine. <laughs> Whoa, okay, fuck you. Ugh. <laughs> that was so fucked up. Ugh. Man. <laughs> Who the fuck thought of this? Who thought of this shit? Fucking horse apples. No! Fuck! I'm- Oh, man. Oh, man. That was some real anger. <laughs> that was like a real- Fuck that! <laughs> I'm so mad! Oh, my God. That was such fucking bullshit. What the fuck is this game? 
<laughs> Sorry for yelling, but like, fuck off, game. It just happens so suddenly. How the fuck is anybody supposed to know? Okay, it's right there. I, wow, I'm so glad that it barely shows you the floor is cracked. The floor is cracked. I'm so happy that that's a fucking thing. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. Why did I need to do that? It's a fucking blow dart. Someone shot him. I believe SBO used this to knock Tails unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just have been knocked out? I'm not sure he's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me produce the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shit, that's a good point, but Tails is on or something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up in the library. Tamil and I know each other. Tamil and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? The vent. The vent. The vent. The fucking vent. The vent. Fuck it. I don't know. It would be the vent. The blueprints. In closer. Fuck me. Fuck. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I don't want to have to look out for the shitty ass. Why is it making the levels harder? I don't. <laughs> just, just be good. Ugh. No, not like this. <laughs> Big oof. Let's give it another try. <laughs> I don't respect whoever made this, I gotta be honest. What? No, I- mm, I went over it. I went over it, big oof. Let's give it another try. No. Alright, let's take a look. <laughs> if Essie didn't take a secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's- there's a passage above the conductor car and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. That's some sort of long attic. According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that's straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. Uh, the vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Let me check it out. My word. There is a path back here on a track. Track, huh? Track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms make to, to move through the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Uh, Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. As was right, this feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Well, you broke the robot arm. Now to think about my argument. You could do- No! It's- it's not that fucking hard! It's literally the fucking- Dude, I'm going fucking crazy. I'm so sorry for yelling, but my lord. Everyone saw the broken robot arm in the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here, and one of those robot arms was a bitch. What if one of those robot arms actually caught Sonic? Uncle said there's a track the robot arms using that continue the vent. Robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from the Volbart, and carried him to the dining car. Could, could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, it's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Well, I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from the blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you do have to admit there are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found one inconsistency. Hmm? What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBL. Who received that information? Wow, I sure do wonder. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Hmm? Tails, you're, you're right. SBL lied to me. And you told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, SBL. <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Hmm. Misheard you? Yes, I said, um, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe that you were lazily reading the whole time? While well, you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage. Gah. And now you're lying to me on my birthday? Full of D's? I believe the murderer used the chains controls. Move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car, and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than it caused doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. It was you, SBO! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! 
Ugh. I'm Sonic. I'm standing, and also I have a weird coat on. Hey, guys. Ugh. Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and just as we solve the mystery, SPO was the murderer, right? SPO jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. Blow dart, though, really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. SPO left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick! Huh? Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, no. We all gotta get off this train! We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the features of the train, but what he was telling me I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. <gasps> Tails' is best friend. A tiny wild animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. Until the conductor, the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. Yeah, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the interview of the Flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blowdart from Espio. Um. Yeah. Uh. Espio left. Lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop what you're doing. I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arms, left it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of that with his poison. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Wow! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> mm, the situation's gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games works. Shoot someone with a blowbot, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. Uh, I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart on Sonic. Station in the conductor car. It was laced with an on sleeve little sleeper's day, thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. See? What is that? It says use this blow dart on Sonic station in the conductor's car. It was laced with non-lethal sleeping aid. I just fucking read it. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. Shut up, car. <laughs> it's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Uh, weapon shouldn't be allowed on the train. Where's a larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Camel, who do you think attacked the person? The train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. Huh? First we learned the train's a bad neck, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train is it to get it out to us. I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train? Come out and shut yourself! Amy! It's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? It sounds like a Valve game crashing. Oh my god, we're inside Megatron! <laughs> what did you two do? Is that the conductor? <laughs> Here, I can get him down. <laughs> Don't touch him. Whoa! Ah, it's the train talking! Of course I can talk, you dumbasses. We're too distracted with your little game to figure it out. We were right, where are we? What are you blotting up, taking all of you to Eggman's base? Where you will rot. Eggman! After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. <laughs> annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always plan. What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. <laughs> Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic! How, how, how. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Whoa! Whoa. No. I can't keep my footing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why don't just, like, work the fucking microwave yourself so you don't have some dick in the back speeding everything along? A bunch of evidence falling out of my pockets. Ah, uh, my head. Tails. Amy? 
Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hang in there, it seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? Great question, but for now, are you all right? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I'm doing amazing! <laughs> wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea, lead the way. Yo, what's up? It's me, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm a hedgehog, my name is Sonic. Hi. The conductor and I found Vector's tickets in the napkin holder. What was his ticket doing here? Maybe you confused a napkin for his ticket and ticket for a napkin? Ha! <laughs> Hope his ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. Huh, oh, man. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never got to look at the pretty views. And he was saying the train's scythe couldn't be beat. I was excited. After all we've been through, I'm sure the crane company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That was the wrong voice. Let's pretend I said it with my voice. That'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. <laughs> Someone fucking robbed me. Hey, one of those robotics arms are here, too. Oh, it swiped at me. Best to leave alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. That yellow glow is chilling. I'm missing it was just showing us the weather. Huh? Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. I can't do an Eggman voice. Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerves showing up here, Egghead. Ho ho ho, you spiky blue pest. Soon you finally take a message on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the fuck are you? Don't talk to me. I'm ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your town just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build that Batman, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. <laughs> I converted some cargo trains. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I just... <laughs> I think this game fucking broke me. Like, I, like, I don't... <laughs> I don't think this game, like... I don't think it, like, messed with my head. I think it fucking broke me. I think the eighth minigame was enough to shatter me. <laughs> it's just more useful for future schemes. Yes, another death egg, Dr. Predictable. The people fear giant spheres. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to take the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what the passenger train is up to. See, the capability of a Batnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic. For a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision and report to me after you happen to board. This train's capability... <laughs> this train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. If you don't accomplished by my genius. This confirms it. The train really is sentient. Sentient? Sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. Huh? Yeah, I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I need to make my bad things complete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I need to the bounty upon my army of bad nicks. First to capture your pretended creatures, get the generous reward. Huh? The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but I have the intelligent train. Ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never win silently, can you? When you're dragged in my base, you'll regret the day you ever crushed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Haha, <laughs> Joe. Thank God I don't have to do that fucking voice anymore. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. That train is the motivation of being made by Eggman. It's no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? Train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman? The whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? What is this fucking victim blaming shit? Am I at fault here? Hey! Huh? Can't tell the situation's getting to you. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, I get it. The road's tough. It's getting easy. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let pass. Keep on living. I need you here helping me through this, though, before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leave-before-you-think kind of guys. Huh, yeah, you're right. 
Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe, okay? Gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The door's been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Believe in yourself! No matter what the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through, head on, and rescue our friends, by any means necessary. Here, stand back! Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. But you hold on to your pants, I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? I'm gonna save. Ready. The spirit, let's go find our friends! And Dr. Car to end this mystery. Alright, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. <laughs> in my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, it should be fast enough to burst through the next door too. Ready, let's do this. I forgot that I forgot. I forgot the buttons. That's my bad. I forgot I needed the space bar. It's like Ah, I was one away! I don't like focusing. I don't like fucking focusing in a Sonic game. It's like, why the fuck do I have to do this? I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna throw up. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. Gotta deal with the stream first. Come on, let's go. Don't make me keep playing Sonic, you fuck. Don't make me play Sonic in a Sonic game. You fucking bitch. Ugh. I'm actually gonna throw up. I'm like, I'm, I legit might throw up. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and our reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. No! I'm... Oh my god, I just wanna it's like I'm gonna I'm 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 like legit gonna throw up. Fuck man. No, please, please don't make me do it again. Please. No, no, no! <sighs> game. I don't- how does anybody play this? Sonic! Sonic! It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. Gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. Fuck. Man, this sucks. This is horrible. <laughs> like, this is- honestly, I fucking hate this. No, 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 I just, I need to keep my rings. I'm gonna throw up. I'm, oh my god, I'm gonna look away from the screen for a second. Hold on. Like, I, <laughs> legit, I need to, like, look away from the screen. Just, uh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Fuck, man. Say no more. People like Sonic. Like, <laughs> that, that's such a fucking baffling sentence to me. Okay, I did it. I did it. I'm- I'm- Please, end it. End the fucking screen in the background. You're here. Yeah, whatever. Finish it. End the screen. Fuck. Whew. That was bad. That was not okay. I- That was really bad. Excellent work trapping those pets. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land and properly another death egg. Don't teleport us to the future. Teleport, you know. We already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that, whatever. Shut it, Eggman! Shut it, Eggman! Don't disappoint me, Chan. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. No, wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. Thank you. Thank you, Chan. It took... every ounce of blood in my body to not throw up. <laughs> I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Uh, that Eggman! I must get my wish. Huh? I will not fail. This is everyone. Get ready! I'm taking this thing down. No, 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 no boss fight. <sighs> you said survive, but it's not fucking over. I hit jump.
would it be funny if I vomited on stream? Like, should I, <laughs> should I stop fighting it? Like, <laughs> is that what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Because there's no fucking way I'm surviving this. Fuck. How do you possibly understand? We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? What do you mean, the conductor? You're tired. You just have to accept that. I wish we'll keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. And for someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Like, I, like, literally watching it is not as bad as playing it. I gotta say. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? The vomit. It's coming. Help me. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. This is not fun to play. Like, yeah, I think Sonic can be fun. I had fun with, um... Fuck, what was that Sonic game? The one where you, like, got to make your own shitty-ass character that was hilarious and terrible-looking. Oh, my God. Conductor. Conductor! You promised me. You promised. Let him speak. Unhand him. Try and stop this. When I told you we'd be getting each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, oh, stop. What are you doing? Feels like your eyes lag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. What are you doing? Please don't make me do this. <laughs> I'm not in the mood, baby. <laughs> we have to rescue the conductor. If we ever want to stop this train, please. Just, no. No, don't make me do it again. Oh, all right. At least I get to pay attention to the front of the train. At least I have something that's not moving. I just need rings. I just, uh, just, uh, fuck, man. <laughs> just, just fuck, man. No. Uh, like, how do you, how? How do people find Planet Fun? I, I don't get it. I truly don't get it. Fuck, man. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Don't make me do it again. A flicky. It's just like the lore card when my ex best friend left detected work giant Eggman. So this really is a bad nick. Stakes rise every second, huh? Gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. No! Don't show your full power! Like, it's not even butt rock. I don't even fucking care because it's not butt rock. If it was butt rock, I'd be having more fun, but it isn't. And it's just flicking lights and sadness. It's, it's it's just depressing. Shit, man. Oh, God, I'm gonna throw up. Game. Okay. No, I jumped. Oh, God. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna fucking cry at Sonic. Like. <laughs> I don't want to do it a third time. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me selfish, how, how dare you? No. Okay, this is the last one. This has to be the last one. Like, just at least play butt rock, man. Let me just make, it would just make it more fun. I don't like having the skill of being good at Sonic. Like, that's not a skill every young girl dreams about, you know? Okay. Oh my god, I did it! Please be the end. No! No, 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 no. I'll grab the flicky. It's over! Be for ruining my birthday. Bonk. <laughs> Train noise.
That is the most amazing screenshot of AVI I have ever seen in my fucking life. I just, I, I, I just, I just want you to appreciate it for a moment. <sighs> Fuck. Ha! <laughs> Train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. It was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I. I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. <laughs> Train, I'm gonna leave my wife for you. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you I'll never forget our time together. Wow, what a beautiful train. <laughs> it looks so great. We did it. Well, I say, I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step, it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties by the end where someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. You're late! I've been waiting here for hours! <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened. So I wouldn't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for going here in the morning. You need to pack. Fly faster than the wind. I need this vacation, something terrible. I need you all happy for your retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready than before to begin his retirement after this ordeal. Happy for them both. Who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Good job saving that little guy, SBO. It's the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be, you were just following what you thought was the game. Try to know what I would have done in the exact situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a dough dart, you fucking asshole. Seriously, a dart? You fucking piece of shit, you couldn't have shot me, you dick. It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. <laughs> Regardless, I'm sorry. They were cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. Well, the collateral, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too, I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic, wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The station had a bakery, and look what I brought. A birthday cake! Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Rami O's. To an adventure birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. Maybe our friendship may our friendship go stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm not sorry, no personality is the word. I love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Woo! Thank you guys! We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Yay. I hope it's chocolate. Like my soul. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's, um, it's the girl from Sonic Frontiers. Let's go, Dad. <laughs> Why is the Sonic Frontiers girl there? That that was really fucking quick. That train's never making it here, is it? Or back for their bath. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry. Very were two extremists, shut up. You love this novel? Yeah, this is a full-ass novel. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. And that's my story when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky queen now. As for me, I... I quit my job of magical trains. And then... Won millions in the lottery. And after that, I now run a supermarket. Yeah, that's just been my life. 
I mean, yeah, she's in, um, she's in Frontiers, so I, I'd imagine she's, like, in everything from now on. Because that's how Sonic does things. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I've never finished a- have I finished a game? I have. We sat through the credits. We're gonna sit through the credits, uh, because, you know. Yeah. This was a delightful game, when it wasn't, you know. When it wasn't gameplay, it was great. <laughs> Man, I really... I'm not a fan. Of course, Trin. Hope, uh, hope you can... Hope you, <laughs> hope you can, uh, you know, get over the arc block. That probably sucks. I'm sure it does. Um, good luck with everything, you know? Thanks for all my suffering. Yeah, I mean, I, I figured it's a short enough game, you know, I, I, I just beat it in, in a day, right? It was, it was fun, though. Like, except for the, the shitty parts. Like, even Dangarampa V3 did not have as much, like, problems with that side-scrolling bullshit. But it was fun. I, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, I definitely want to do more visual novels, but fuck is it hard to do all those voices. <laughs> and having to voice 18 characters or more in a Dangarampa game is a fucking nightmare. So, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I don't, it's not, not quite over yet, so I'm not gonna end stream, but, you know. Fuck, man. That was crazy. <laughs> that was wild. Oh, that was really interesting, though. John Chun? That feels like a slur. <laughs> that last name does not feel like something I can say. Man, I'm tired after that. My fucking... Doing that Amy voice, though, was fun, I gotta say. <laughs> the Amy voice was pretty fun for me. The music was great everywhere except in, like, the gameplay sections, which is a shame. Uh, like, I wish that was a bit, but it really... The gameplay was really just not great. <laughs> I hate it. But, like, the, the ambient stuff was so good. I liked it. I'm thinking about playing, um, what's it called? Sonic Frontiers on the channel. Um, after I get my paycheck or some shit. I don't know. I might not even play it. I, I honestly don't know. I'm... I don't know is the point. Because, uh, look. I'm... I really have a lot of fun doing shit like this. You know, just, like, simple games. Because TF2 is not always great. Everyone collectively agree on the gameplay part. Thank God. I, I'd feel so bad if other people loved the gameplay. But, like... Man, that fucking gameplay was horrible. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. The channel's, the channel's in a weird spot right now. It's, it's very fun to do what I want and to do this. And it's just not easy to, like, save all the VODs somewhere. I might make a separate VOD channel. I'm not honestly sure. You're gonna rewatch some Sonic X? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go for it. These are some long ass credits. Oh, I can make them go fast. Big the cat! Big the cat, the dog! Oh my god! That's adorable. Thank you, Steve, for letting us make this game. Happy April Fool's Day. Observed. Sega. I think I'm in love with Big the Cat the Dog. I'm sorry, were there no fucking, like... Assist mode? I see. I could've made it so much easier. <laughs> I could've just been happy. I could've just been so fucking happy. And there was assist mode this whole fucking time. Fuck, man! I, there was an assist mode! Oh my god! <laughs>